Alright guys, this is gonna be a very short video on how to morph icons in Adobe After Effects and this is especially for those of you who create their icons in Adobe Illustrator and try to morph them in After Effects. It sometimes looks very strange how they blend into each other and there's actually a simple trick to fix this. So um, let's get into it. Let's quickly make some crappy icons. Okay, so let's make some, I don't know, some kind of monitor. Don't want to spend too much time on this, just to give you guys an idea of what you can do. So here's a monitor for now, and maybe you want to morph into a, uh, I don't know, magnifying glass maybe. Yeah, I'm really sorry guys, this is gonna look like crap, but um, you get the idea, right? So, there's our great looking two icons. Now, if we copy one of them, and if you go to After Effects, I already made a composition. Um, well, let's create a new shape layer. And now hit Command V to actually uh, paste it. And now you can see the masks we've just created. There's three masks, but you're not seeing anything. You have to go to Effect, go to Generate, and click on Stroke. Now, let's select four pixels, and you have to make sure all masks is on. So there's our little icon. Now we have to create a keyframe for this mask, and then uh, move the cursor in the timeline. Now go back to Illustrator and select the magnifying glass, copy it, go back to After Effects and just paste it on this new spot. And as you can see, well it morphs, but it looks really weird. There's a quick fix to change this. You have to go back to Illustrator. I'm just gonna copy this for now. You have to uh, right click and go to Compound Path. So click that. And now on the Properties uh, window, you can change the direction of the path. So when we use this one, It looks like this. And when we use the other one, it looks like this. This looks like crap. As you can see, the whole icon flips before it morphs into the new icon, and that's not what we want. So we're gonna go for this one. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Now, I'm just playing around with it, but you can also add an extra keyframe to the path, so make it a little bit smoother let's say you want this one to you want it to move and 
could also do that for this part. So I'm not going to play around with this all evening, but I just wanted to show you that if you go into Adobe Illustrator, turn your icon into a compound path and change the direction and then paste it into Adobe After Effects, the morphing from one icon to another will actually look a lot better. I hope this helped and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.